Hello. Hello, YouTube. Um, hopefully you can hear me all right. Uh, I brought my phone, so the quality and sound on this video will probably be a bit shit. Um, but yeah, I'm, I just got the free gate to the underworld. A uh, structure decks made a, a dot wild deck. Used it at the locals yesterday and it did okay. I guess um, the main problem was uh, removing from play, and I didn't have anything to get rid of spells and traps. So I've changed it a bit now. So it's a lot better than it was yesterday. I've also got a few extra cards, like another fabled raven. Um, haven't got a tour guide. I don't really want one, and can't afford one. If I could afford one, I wouldn't buy one. I would probably buy a new phone. So yeah. Anyway, uh, let's show you the deck list. It's upside downs on my uh, laptop, so it might be a bit awkward. But yeah, free grapher, the new uh, beat stick, twenty seven hundred, three thousand with the gate to the underworld field, uh, easily special summoned and destroys any card on your opponent's side of the field when it's sent from your hand to the graveyard. So really good and easy to get out as well. I'm guessing it's going to be limited or something, but yeah. Free gold, um, just beats it really. Um, and free silver, same. Free snow, another new card. Um, get any dark core card. From your deck to your hand when it's discarded, so that's Graffer or uh, Gate to Dark World. That's really good as well. Free Brow, Draw Power, and uh, Summon it, and send it straight back to your hand to get a Graffer out if you need to. Really easy summon. One Guru. Uh, the only reason I got one, had two, and the only thing I actually used it for. Um, well, its effect is when you send it from your hand to the graveyard, uh, especially someone on your opponent's side of the field, and then because it's their card, it makes you discard a card so you get uh, Graffer, Gold, all their secondary effects. Um, but I hardly ever used it for that. The uh, main thing I used it for was summoning it to get a Graffer out, so I only got one in. Two Fabled Ravens, Synchro, uh, not Synchro, Tuna. Uh, gains levels, send cards in your hand to graveyard, uh, send a gold or a silver, gains an extra star, and you can tune for an 8 star, and I've got a lot of 8 star synchros. So yeah. Fable Cerebral, uh, another Fable Tuner, and when it's discarded to the graveyard, special summon it, so just extra card really. And because and, it's 2 star, you can tune it with Graffa for Leviathan. Which is 10 star. Orphan Jar. Sangian. Gauze. Not really sure if I need it, but comes in helpful sometimes. And Marshmallow. Defense. Uh, save my ass. Fuck loads of times. And you also love this card. Like spells. We have. Three dark world dealings, two get to dark world, three seems a bit too many for a field card, and one's not really enough, so amazing card. Gateway to dark world, card destruction, cheerful coffin. Into the Void, A Law of Darkness, voice is going a bit, been a bit ill, so again, Pot of Avarice, two MSTs, get rid of spelling traps, needed them in the thing, have another one on my side deck just in case, and traps, two escape from dark dimensions, uh, 
gate to the under uh, gate to the dark world you need to remove and play a fiend type so but with this you can actually use that to your advantage plus a lot of remove from play decks which really fuck up dark world transmigration prophecy uh, get two cards in your graveyard back to your deck and mirror force defense Right, uh, Synchros, Fabled Leviathan, 10 stars, uh, 3000 beta, and that can get back your Ravens and Cerebral when it's destroyed. Valkyrus, uh, 8 star, Fabled, um, discard one fiend type to draw a card. It doesn't activate Dark God effect because it's a cost, but if you need your power then plus it's another way of getting Grafra into the graveyard so it's just a special summon that not to get its effect Dark End Dragon uh, not at this tournament but at the last one someone told me it's illegal because it's a jump promo card uh, because it hasn't been reprinted but when I actually looked into it it has been reprinted but um, the guys there tend to be more experts than I am, so I'm not sure if that's banned. So if someone can tell me, that'll be really helpful. Uh, Starless Dragon, Ultimate Rare. I'm happy because it's the only rare card I really got. Yeah, and it's Starless. Starless is amazing. Red Dragon Archfiend, just because it's another eight star. Blackwing never actually used that or uh, Red Dragon actually, but yeah, just there really. And Xavier Yabellum, seven star, uh, just for a bit of level difference. I have never used it though, so okay, that was it. But uh, let me know what you think. Any way to improve it? Uh, going to the sneak peek in November. Because there's two more Dark World cards which are Latinum, Exile the Dark World, and Dark Smog. And I really want to get three of each of them. So next month I'm going to be doing another updated deck list with uh, some suggestions as well as the new cards. So hopefully it'll be a bit better. So yeah, goodbye. And it